Hi, I'm Steve Goodman, and on Practical 365, we're going to look at setting up task publishing in Teams. Now, tasks in Teams brings together to do, and it brings together planner. Task publishing allows us to use the planner functionality to duplicate tasks and send them out all over our organization. It's absolutely perfect for those command and control type scenarios where we need to send those tasks out. Perhaps if we're sending them out from a marketing or health and safety team to all of the stores where they need to go and perform some tasks for us. And again, in scenarios like manufacturing as well. It's absolutely fantastic for that. But to get started, we need to do a few things. And I'll walk through these now. You need a structure in place. If you've already got teams deployed, then use those if you can. If you've got teams for the stores, for example, in our scenario, then you don't want to create duplicate ones just for tasks. And if you don't have them in place at the moment, then consider all of those other use cases as well. You don't want to create these and then realize that they're not fit for purpose. But the hierarchy is not related to teams themselves. It is related to that task publishing scenario. So consider how the decision making, not necessarily the management hierarchy, but the decision making and task allocation reflects your organization. So in this example here, then this is based on some stores. And in headquarters, we've got a marketing team and a health and safety team. They're the joint parents of our hierarchy. There's area managers in the north and south. And the stores at the bottom, Edinburgh, Manchester and Durham are under the north. And under the south is London, Milton Keynes and Southampton. Now, I didn't go for anything too controversial when I set those up. So we'll need to create those teams if they're not already there. And we'll need to create an app setup policy to make sure that people get the app for tasks in their client as well. So let's go and do that. So over in the Teams Admin Center, here I am. Uh, I already have the teams, Marketing, Health and Safety. I've got North and South, and then I've got all my other teams there. And I've got people in them already, which is good. And then down in Teams Apps, I'm going to go to Setup Policies. And I've pre-created my Stores policy for you as well. We'll just press Add, and that will bring us up with this. And it's called Stores. And I've got an installed app, which is Tasks by Planner and To Do. That's the right one. And then I've also pinned the app as well. I wanted to show on the mobile device. So I'm going to make sure that it's one of the first ones that you see. So by default, that will be one, two, three, five uh, apps that will be shown. So this will be the fourth one along in this scenario. Or maybe I'll, I'll move it up. Um, but consider other people might want theirs front and center as well. Now, with those core fundamental bits in place, we're ready to go and do some other stuff. Now, we need to be able to think about more than just the hierarchy, because what we need to do is get things ready for planner. And that is going to allow us to filter tasks. So when we're sending out those publishing tasks, what we're going to be able to do is have filtering attributes. So we might want to send it out to a different store type, for example, in our store scenario. And we also have buckets of tasks as well. And with the buckets of tasks, we're going to be able to allocate those to the right places. And I'll show you what those should look like in our scenario in just a moment. Then we're going to create a file. We're going to use Teams PowerShell to get out our teams and then load them back in. Now we'll save that for part two of the video. And then part three, you'll get to see what it looks like. But first, let's have a look back in our hierarchy. And inside this, I've got my filtering attributes, which is going to be store type. And some of these will be our flagship stores. And I've also got my task buckets as well. And this is where the different parents will send their tasks out. So perhaps a northern area manager might send something out. The shop floor, the marketing people might send out something. And those will go into their different buckets in, in planner within each store so they'll be able to be collated together so if you've got a lot of different tasks or you've got different people creating tasks for them perhaps you have an auditing task for um, an area manager to send out and you also have one for the health and safety folks to send out then those could all go into that compliance bucket so that is the basics of using task publishing in teams those are the basics of how we plan for it in the next video i am going to show you how we can go to the next step and create that CSV file, import it into Teams, and then we'll be ready 
to go out as perhaps an area manager or perhaps we'll go out and work in the store and see what it looks like.